Okay, this is the basis news and uh, some news on Sophia. Sophia has now come out of hospital and she's uh, repairing really quite well. Now, what happened was there was additional assistance given to her in hospital, which allowed her to uh, receive certain treatments which um, uh, have been able to help her get through this. She is appealing for any help if uh, there have been some people who wish to see if they can help her out financially because this has been a hell of a knock. Uh, for her. Um, her door in her home had to be uh, broken in and then broken in again so she could actually re-enter because while she was in hospital, this broken door was then resealed. So any assistance um, that you wish to give to Sophia, uh, she has given me some bank details which I'm putting in the description box. I'm not going to put it on the video. So if you want to help Sophia get through this period where part of her body had actually necrified and uh, after a massive hemorrhage that actually actually was released by the body and uh, that allowed her to basically start healing properly. The other thing is that the conference is absolutely go. We are having a conference at Basis 2022 in association with the Freedom Network, that's Karen Dodd's organisation, and we're going to have it for three days in the second weekend of July. That's July the 8th, 9th and 10th at the same venue that we had for Christmas. That's at the Bouveri Hall in Pusey. We're going to have three days of lectures and workshops. There is an additional uh, part of the hall which is very rarely used and we're going to have that available for speakers to give workshops and that will be booked separately between you and the speaker uh, on the day and uh, that's it basically for now. We are re-uploading um, uh, to bases, uh, bases Restricted. Uh, we're just getting a lot of the older stuff uploaded in bulk with very little information on it, just get the material back up onto bases restricted. Uh, some of that work has involved uh, John Irwin's material, which essentially was silenced because he was involved with contractual in, uh, issues quite some time ago. Now, I've published all of that to keep, to get his material up and aware into the public domain, which is what the reason, the reason I was brought there to record it in the first place. So that's available now. There are other things available. And as I get through some of this stuff, I find that there's quite a little bit of material that I didn't actually get or is only available as an original project. So that means I've got to reconstruct the project to rebuild some edits. There's actually five parts of one uh, uh, basis which need to be completely rebuilt if I can't find the material. And we've already spent six months going through hard drives and things to find a lot of this stuff. So anyway, Rumble is going to be the, the, the home for all new material along with BitChute and anything which involves lectures will go on to Brighteon. And I do ask you to have a look at the Brighteon site, the basis project on Brighteon. There's all the lectures that we've been doing over the, over the last 10 or 11 years and they're really worthwhile looking at. And we do want to support these free speech sites as much as we possibly can. And we have, a, we have somebody else in the room here eating something away. Woof woof. So uh, that's offset. It's uh, no, it's this way. Yeah, yeah. Woof woof. Uh, we have a friend here from Connecting Consciousness just having a little informal chat. Uh, there are actually other areas uh, we have just been covering in the last couple of days involving very high radiation levels, and as you can see from these charts or these uh, maps. There was a huge radiation leak over the weekend, uh, uh, just about the 2nd and 3rd or 4th of, just a couple of days ago, of March, in uh, Wooten Bassett near RAF Lynham, or rather it's now the Remy for the Army. There was a lot of radiation being detected from the Geiger counter in Wooten Bassett, or that's Royal Wooten Bassett, and that was way up in the 1,000 uh, units range. And if you go above 100 units, uh, you will have, uh, you need to start taking iodine pills. Now that lasted for about four to five days and strangely completely tailed off around about five o'clock, end of business on a Monday. Something a bit suspicious there. And I was able to talk with some um, people who were involved with a certain area involving that without actually giving the game away as to where they came from. We had a little discussion on that. 
and we had a very good discussion with uh, one of the finest ladies there is on the planet, Justina, all about that. And uh, suddenly a lot of things suddenly calmed down. Now, uh, the other part of this little uh, search is that um, we noticed that in uh, basically last weekend, there were only two red alert radiation alarms in the entire world. One was Wooten Bassett and the other was Hatfield up in uh, the Midlands of England, not too far from where uh, David Griffin and the likes of uh, Gary Heseltine live. And there were three other areas where there had been huge radiation readings, as you can see on this chart. Now, it turns out David Griffin and his group up there have been doing a lot on that they are working very hard in the background, and we do hope to have an interview with David Griffin shortly, and we also hope to have him as one of the speakers at the conference. Uh, the uh, speaker, the conference uh, on Eventbrite is going live tomorrow, and you'll be able to get, buy tickets for that. Now, because we are actually using the front stage of the, co of the conference, it's going to allow more seating, so hopefully we'll be able to get about 200 in there, and that will be a major three-day conference. Uh, that's the 8th, 9th, and 10th of July in Pusey, and that's it for now. <laughs>